Um, we also are happy to be here, particularly in Potako, because also my father's public service in Ahoda many years ago. You were all, I'm sure you are all uh, familiar with that. Secondly, Your Excellency, is to strengthen the, rela the friendly relationship and close affinity of our people. History has it that, and as uh, His Majesty mentioned, that some of the ethnic groups here in River State trace their origin uh, to Benin. I'm sure His Excellency as well. This includes, amongst others, the Equeres, the people of Ahoda and Omoku. Some of these people were at the airport yesterday and uh, gave us a wonderful reception, very wonderful reception. In fact, they forgot I have just arrived and we are proceeding to the, uh, to the State House. They almost didn't want me to leave the airport because <laughs> they were dancing. They were dancing and singing and, and, and so on and so forth. They were very, very, very overwhelmed. They were happy. Thirdly, Your Excellency, is to meet with South South Monarchs. In South South Monarchs Forum, who were present at my coronation and um, have sent invitations for me to visit so that we can share ideas on ways of strengthening the traditional institutions in Nigeria and ensure the development and the well-being of our people. We uh, would like to use this opportunity of this visit to appreciate the cordial relationship between the governor of Edo, of, of Edo State and the governor of River State. I'm aware that you have been communicating very closely before my arrival, and uh, we have seen all the signs. I thank you, I thank the governor of Edo State and the governor of River State on behalf of uh, my chiefs here, members of the royal family that are here, two of my baby brothers that are here. We are all uh, appreciative of the reception, the hospitality we have been enjoying already. We also thank His Excellency, not only for the hospitality, but also for supporting in making this visit a huge success, and also for providing the enabling environment for Edo people in River State to conduct their businesses and make their contributions in the development of River State. I believe some members of the uh, indigenous in River State are here. Uh, finally, Your Excellency, we use this opportunity of this visit to encourage all our people that have traced their ancestry to Benin to endeavor to join us in the celebration of our annual Igwe Festival and receive the blessings of doing so. As you might already be aware, I'm doing my best to, uh, to, to, to be all inclusive in this festival. We do not want to make it look as if it's a, it's a penny affair or it's a local affair, or it's, it's not supposed to be like, so we want to expand it. We are doing our best to expand it, to make it a, a global affair. Igwe Festival should be a global affair. It's, uh, is a festival of prayers, it's a festival of blessings to homes, to everybody. There is nothing idolatry about it. So we would like to be inviting members of uh, uh, the, the, the state government, uh, Your Excellency, and in the indigenous and uh, river state people uh, to our festivals from time to time, regularly. I thank you very much, Your Excellency. I thank everybody for listening, for your patience, and for gathering here today to receive all of us. Thank you.
Abad. Your good friend Abad Uwigwe is also an Ikwere man, correct? Um, he has been very supportive of the, of the palace institution in Benin. I want to say that openly. I want to say that publicly. Um, we are very delighted to have him with me. We are very, we are very happy that uh, he's, uh, he's already making good his commitments, his promises, and uh, he's standing by the institution of Benin very, very strongly. So I wanted you to know that. Thank you very much. God bless him. The Oba of Benin and members of the council that came here with you today, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Your Royal Majesty, let me on behalf of the government and people of River State most sincerely thank you for this uh, visit. I spoke with your governor yesterday uh, when he called me. I told him I was aware that you were coming. Unfortunately, I went to Abuja. You know, our job, you can be called <laughs> anytime. So when I got to the airport, I saw my people who wanted to, who came to receive you. But for that, I came back very late uh, yesterday. That's why I couldn't come to the house to, to say a few people. And I, I felt I should not disturb you at that point. You should be you should have any rest, you know. So I thank you, and let me also congratulate you for the emergence of the Obar of uh, uh, Benin. Uh, when your father was alive, I was the Minister of State Education then, and that was the first time I touched, I came to the, the palace. And, and he gave me a lot of lesson about culture, about tradition. I, 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 I felt so happy. Your culture, your tradition is highly respected. How about talk me? Yeah. The place where I went to, the small house, the small house, I, 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 I know that you are one place that has kept tradition, culture. I felt so happy that there are still, we still have institutions that have kept to the culture and tradition of their people. We have not allowed a Western culture to infiltrate, to, 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 look, to make it look as if um, our own culture is not good, you know. So I felt, I felt very happy when I came to, to the palace, you know. And I'm also happy that we're having a robber who is well enlightened, well educated, <laughs> who has traveled from that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. And I'm very glad if you compare to what others have, you know that, of course, we are top. We are top. Uh, most of our majesties are well educated. And I think we should, we should thank God for, for that. Let me use the opportunity to, to say that traditional rulers, majesties from the South South, should make sure that they, they work together. There's no way the Oba of Benin should be a second class citizen to anybody. There, there's no way the Amanabo of Fubopo should be second class to anybody. There's no way. Therefore, whenever you gather, see yourself too as the topmost uh, traditional uh, rulers. Because I don't want a situation where our own people will be relegated to the background. They will hear other people's name. I don't want to mention them. But Benin, Asian Benin is not a tradition of today. This is very, very clear. So I plead that as you are meeting with them, you should try to sing this to them that we should not see ourselves as second class. Uh, Citizens, we should not do that. We should not do that. And that will be a great way to help us. I want to thank you for your initiative. And that's what I was told the River State Council, which the chairman is trying his best. 
I've never seen where militants dictate what will happen in our communities, in our kingdoms. I've never seen where that has happened. Like you said, the younger ones are now governing over the old ones. And that is, if you allow that tradition, will just uh, die. I'm not talking about politics. No, I'm not talking about politics. In these days, you see where people of no consequence will determine who will be a traditional ruler. Forget history. Forget the tradition. Simply because they have guns. It's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And a traditional institution should not die. And so I thank you for the initiative you've taken in Benin, in the new states. If they welcome uh, the development. And I, and I pray to the chair, my chairman will also urge his own uh, people to sit up to make sure that everybody comes up, to make sure that the institution is very, very strong. These days we are afraid of death. But death will come. Nobody will run away from uh, it. will come when it will uh, come. It cannot run away. So we must perform our roles. We must perform our functions. We must. We must. To keep that transition institution is very, very key. Very, very important. And also, do not run away. We have six days in the south side. Do not run away from the governors. Try from time to time to call us. In every state, you, you have a chairman. Not by the whole traditional rule that's calling us. If you have six states, you have six of the chairman of traditional rule, like as we are in, in those states, as it is in, uh, in rivers. The same thing applies in Aquaibon, in Cross River, in uh, 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 Babayasa. He call us. Not the whole traditional rule sitting with us, no. Call us. We will interact with you. We will tell you, look, these are things going on. You will be able also to tell us. See where we are going wrong. See what we think you should do. So we will speak with one voice anywhere we go to. And also, when you attend the, the Nigerian Council of National Rulers uh, meeting, it is the state that approves or recognizes who are the traditional uh, rulers. It is not that council that will recognize. So somebody who is not recognized in my state attends a meeting of the South South Traditional Rulers uh, meeting of Nigerian Traditional Rulers. It, it does not make sense. You can imagine where the other is in a meeting. Somebody who is not a chief, recognized, comes to such a meeting. How will he feel? How will he feel? And people outside are those who are fueling such crisis. I would think that the Sansa people should sit down and say, look, you can't do this to us. You cannot recognize who is the chief or your majesty in our area. We will tell you, so it's not you. And I know someone of your status, of your stature, with experience you have, nobody can tell you anything. You, you, nobody. Nobody. So, in fact, the matter of fact, even if you, 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 have, not, you have not gone anywhere, the matter of fact that you are the upper of uh, Benin is enough for people to know, look, oh, don't go there. Oh, you know? So, I, 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 I thank you for coming, and I can assure you that we we'll work together with my brothers and the traditional rulers to move the institution, to make it strong. That we are not competing. I've always told you we are not competing. We are elected as governors. You had the traditional uh, institution. Without traditional institution, it will be difficult for us. So we need the support of the traditional uh, institution to move forward. And I want to thank you for what you are doing in Edo State. But to create your daughters, don't allow Edo to, to disagree with the political thing going on, please. I know you're not a politician, but you have experience. Uh, there's no way when you see two brothers are fighting, the, we should find a way to resolve so that it does not affect the good 
or the interests of a do uh, state. Whether we like it or not, if anything happens to one state in the south side, it happens to the other uh, states. So we want that unity to be there. But I have a good relationship. The governor also married, he says, our in law, he married our daughter. I think I had one name here. Ah, he, he also married our daughter. He said, I didn't know he's a successful advocate. Ah, he married the Caribbean wife's um, uh, daughter. So you see, uh, you people are also owing us. <laughs> they are also owing us. So we, we, we were very, very. Uh, Grateful, and I want to thank you for your compliments, your, your, your encouragement on us. We we'll continue to do the best. We we'll continue to do. We will not let you down. We we'll make sure that any time you need us, we will be available. The state government will give you all the necessary support. I'm not uh, surprised about Herbert uh, uh, Wugwe. Like you said, those who, who trace their history to the ancient uh, Benin uh, uh, kingdom. Everybody has his own roots. Everybody has where to trace his own uh, where he comes from. Uh, we are not, we didn't fall from heaven, no, like we do the one. As we say, we, we can trace <laughs> So, that's how this is. So, we are very grateful, and I can assure you that um, 